Hello everybody, in this video we're going to write Picador 2, which is going to be a great example of why we'd want to use lists. Alright, let's get going. In my last video, you may remember I showed Picador, I showed what happens when you start to add prizes, and I showed how this becomes long, unreadable, and full of errors. What I didn't show was how to fix it. Well, I'll do that right now. The program run is going to look exactly like the other Picador program. I type 1, it's going to print out the prize behind door 1. I type 3, it's going to print out the prize behind door 3, and so on. So here's the lab link. This video is right here. The program run is right here. I'm going to add this file into my REPL. Copy and pasting is the easiest. So I click add a file, copy and paste it in, add my name in, make the hidden files viewable, which will make my REPLit viewable. I'm going to change the entry point so it's pointing to the file I just created. I'm going to test to see that Replit is really running this file and when I run it, it works. So then I'll copy the instructions from the starter code into my current file and I'm done with the setup. Alright, so here is the pick a prize or pick a door program with five prizes. And hopefully you can see that if I started adding lots and lots and lots of prizes, this program would get super long. It would get long here, it would get extra long here, and it's not what we want. So we're going to try to write it a different way. So, step one, replace the individual variables with a list. So I'm going to select the individual variables, I'll comment them out with a control slash, I'll put in a new list with all those prizes, then I will replace all these individual variables with list variables. So this program right here is what a lot of people do at first. It is a little bit better, there's a little bit fewer lines of code where you're declaring the prizes, but you can still do a lot better and I'm going to show you that now. So let's see what's going on. If we type in 1, the code will print out mango, and that corresponds to greatest fruits bracket 0. If we type in 2, the code prints out strawberry, and that corresponds to greatest fruits 1. If we print out 3, the code prints out cherry, which is greatest fruits 2. And if we enter 4, the code prints blueberry, which is greatest fruits 3. So if you look, there's a pattern. We're always printing out an item from the list list bracket item, and which item number or which index is it? Well, it's always one less than what the user inputs. So we can combine all this and say that as long as the number is between 1 and 4, we are printing out greatest fruits bracket, and inside the bracket is number minus 1. So here I am programming that all in. You'll see I replaced that big if, elif, elif, elif with just one line. And hopefully you can see in the testing that it worked. Lastly, I need to make this code work when the numbers aren't between 1 and 5. So I'll need a compound boolean here. So if I need my number to be between 1 and 5, I need to check to make sure my number is less than or equal to 5 and that it's greater than or equal to 1. So now I'll test this code. I run it. It asks me for what fruit ranking do I want. I say 1,000, and it tells me you did not give me a number between 1 and 5. So that's what I just programmed in, and that's good. To summarize, We've shown you two ways to write basically code that does the same thing. One way with variables, that's on the left, and one way with lists, that's on the right. With lists, our code's a lot more readable because it's shorter, and it scales better. So the more prizes we have, the uglier the code on the left gets, whereas the code on the right stays almost the same. The lesson here is if you can pick an item by a number, use a list. It really is one simple trick to simplify your code, and it is a super important concept if you're taking the AP Computer Science Principles exam. It comes up on the written portion of that exam. So just wrapping this up, in this example here, we've given you an example where we wrote a program with five fruits. The problem set that you're going to be doing is with four prizes. These are really, really similar problems. Part of computer science is being able to see when you have two really, really similar problems and applying the concepts from one to the other. In this case, it's not that hard, so I'm just going to let you do it. I have faith that you can do it. The auto grader will tell you if the answer is right or wrong. Good luck. All right, so that's pretty much it. Hope that was useful to you. And if it was, please give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.